I went to the store today and what I found was something interesting. I went to the store with my brother and we were in the candy aisle because of course this is this wasn't in a normal aisle, right? So we went to Walmart and I saw this thing in in the aisle and I stood there for a few minutes and told my brother, I'm like, yo, what? I, I'm really tempted to buy this because why is this a thing? I don't understand. And I know a lot of people don't like the original thing, right? Which is totally fair. Personally, I like the original thing. Personally, I grew up with it. You know, I loved it as a kid, but I'm going to show you something and I don't know how you'll react. Um, so I, I bought this, uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what even is this? Like, actually though, what is this? <laughs> God is real. I had to buy this. Normally I'm not one for impulse buys, but to be honest, I, I'm just curious, how well does it stack up to the Cosmic Brownies? Listen, I like Cosmic Brownies, okay? I know some people think it's trash, personally, I liked them as a kid. We're gonna see how, uh, garbage. <laughs> I can't get over how stupid this is. I've never seen this before in my entire life. This wasn't even in the cereal aisle, this was in the freaking candy aisle. <laughs> so that, that explains a lot, right? So obviously, a while ago, I did a tier list on cereal. Uh, I was doing Schlatt's cereal tier list, and this wasn't on his list. This wasn't on my list. I've never seen this kind of cereal before, so this made me think of it because it's like, oh, you know, I I think it'd be cool to try a, a different kind of cereal because, I don't know, it's in a similar vein as that, and we'll see what this ranks on the cereal tier list. So I... <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I just can't get over how, how, uh, ridiculous this is. I, I who thought of this? So obviously we're going to have two tests here, right? Dry cereal test. That's how I consume cereal at midnight. Uh, when I'm watching a movie, actually, I would just watch 500 days of summer on Hulu. Uh, fantastic movie. It's beautiful. And, uh, it, it made me want to scream because it's a movie that kind of hits you in the face, uh, out of nowhere. So at first glance, this is very dark brown. It's got some pieces in it, right? Like sprinkles. Those do not look like the uh, cosmic brownie sprinkles, to be honest. I don't even know if you can see it, but see, it's supposed to be look like those sprinkles. There's like barely anything on here, bro. This isn't looking too great, to be honest. All right, it, it is open. Okay. Ooh. It kind of smells like s'mores cereal. It's like weird. It kind of smells like Cocoa Puffs in a weird way. All right, here we go. I'm kind of disappointed. It doesn't taste like brownies. It literally tastes like the s'more cereal without the marshmallows. What does it taste like? It tastes like something very familiar. A little bit disappointing dry, at least. It's not bad. It's just not what I was expecting. It tastes like a cereal that I've tasted before but I'm not sure what it is. You know, I'd be very mad if this was just s'more cereal, but they just rebranded it because they made an oopsie in production. Probably time to try it with milk. All right, cereal with milk. I normally don't eat cereal with milk, I'll be honest. So, um, it's, it's like a little better with milk, but to be honest, I don't think I would eat cereal with milk normally. Honestly, I wouldn't eat it with milk. The colored specks are literally just nothing. They don't taste like anything because they're so small and insignificant, just like me. If 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 the cereal box said like chocolate squares, oh, I would love this. Chocolate squares with sprinkles, it's great. But when you compare this, when you compare this to a freaking cosmic brownie, this is just bad. So stop, little Debbie, stop. So I guess if you compare it to that, not good. But if you don't compare it to that, it's okay. It's not the best, not the worst. Kind of in the middle. I like it as a cereal normally, but it's nowhere near cosmic brownie level. I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed. It does not taste like brownies. It just tastes like brown pieces of cereal. Oh, oh, it tastes like the marshmallow mateys 
except without marshmallows. That's what it tastes like. Some off-brand version of Lucky Charms, I think. Yeah, actually, no, it just tastes like a bad version of Lucky Charms. Specifically Marshmallow Mateys, though. I think that has a more specific taste. Who made this? Kellogg's? I don't even know. Kellogg's, you have disappointed me. You have. Little Debbie, this does not taste like anything like Little Debbie, honestly. If you were to put actual brownies in here, that would be good. Or something similar. These brown pieces just taste like marshmallow mateys. So, not a great comparison. It's not what I was expecting. Not great. Like, at all. <laughs> the box design is kind of cool, but it's, it's okay. But, like, never buying this again. It's not, not good. Uh, 